next we're going to show you how to overlay images um, that you take Daffy, Tritzy, and Fitzy in Photoshop uh, to view them all in different channels and get a pretty picture. So I've pulled up my files and I'm going to select the ones that I want to import. I want these three. So I'm going to drag them right into Photoshop. And they'll each come up as a different layer. Uh, from here, we need to make a new layer uh, that's RGB. So we've got another, another layer now. Um, from here, we've got to invert it. And all the channels are black. Uh, and then we have to assign each of these to a different channel. Uh, notice that they're all the same image. It's not going to look very good if you upload different images. Um, rather, it's all of the same area of the section. Uh, so here, we can select all. That's Control A, or select all, uh, and then copy it. Um, once we've done that, you can go back to your image, and because we took Fitzy, Fitzy is green, uh, we're going to click on the green right here in this channel, channels green, and paste it. Control V. Uh, then we'll go to the next one, Dappy. Again, I'll select all, copy. And we'll go back to this, and Daffy is blue, so we'll paste it into the blue channel. Then we'll look at Tritzy, select all, copy, go to our image here, and paste it. So now we've got our overlaid image of Daffy, Tritzy, and Fitzy. Uh, you can view each individual channel by selecting these little eye icons, so now we're looking at just the green Fitzy and the blue Dappy, and now we're just looking at the blue Dappy, and you can do any sort of combination of these three. Okay, guys. Um, sometimes when you take images, um, they're not very um bright or clear. Um, you can mess around with the uh, adjustments here to make your images look um better, basically. Um, one of the very easy things to do is just adjust the brightness and contrast, which you can find over here. And then this one, we'll look for the contrast a little bit. Um, and then another very useful tool is the levels, which is right next to the brightness contrast. And then this allows you to also make things bright and dark, but one of the nice things is you can go to individual channels. Um, as you can see, in this image, the green is very dominant. So I'm going to lessen the green color. Whoops. And then I'm going to make the red a little bit brighter. So there's a lot of other tools here that you can play around with, but that's just uh, one of the basic things that you can start out with to um, enhance your image.